Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being electric. I really appreciate that. So I want us to look at this manual changeover switch and then we see how you can wire it. Okay. And how it works. So manual changeover switch, uh, it's manual. So no automation, you will have to operate it manually. So usually you'll have, it has always two positions. Okay. So you have one and two. So meaning one, it could be your utility supply, uh, your power supply, and then you have your generator right here. Okay. So this is neutral point. Neither source connected. If you have connected your utility power supply, your money will be that, like that. If power shades, your money will, will be like that. And then your generator. So you'll start a generator and then change okay so the same thing with the this type here you have zero uh two zero one okay so you just change so let us look at uh, how it really works so look at this let us open this one and see So let us remove this one. Okay. Now, these are the two types that we have here. So usually, uh, a changeover like this will have uh, two positions, okay? With multiple poles. So if you're using it for three phase, for instance, this one has got three pole. So this position here, two different positions. So you have one, two, three, three pole for either your first power either utility power supply and then you have the second three pole for generator or solar something like that and then this side it's where we link okay so these are two separate uh contacts which are coming through so here we link this is where we connect our outgoing cable so if you look at this one also you realize that we have got a1, B1, C1, D1. These contacts. These are four pole. Okay. And uh, if you flip, flip it this side, you have got A2, B2, C2, D2. Okay. So this is where you uh, put your wires. So your main utility, you hook it here. And then your generator, you hook it here. And then the load will be this side. So you see that here it has been short okay let us get our multimeter here put it in the continuity okay so this this is short okay Okay, now uh, look at this. So this, let us put it in zero. And then you want this is pole four. So there is no internal connection right here. So if we do C2, and its output you see because the connection is in the neutral if we go to c1 okay here you don't uh hear anything so if we take this and we say let us put it in one okay so let us see this is uh c1 so if we check we have a reading there, continuity there. And then if we check the same here, C2, there is no, okay? So C2 will only be if we change this 
to neutral and then to two. So you check right there, that is two. Okay. So if we check this side, okay, that's two, can put back in zero and in one. Okay. So there is no short circuit here. Uh, I mean, uh, your generator and your main supply will not meet. Okay. This thing will allow one source at a time. All right. So the same applies to this. This is the, this one usually will work on a single phase. Okay. Unless maybe you're going to supply a motor, a three phase motor, but usually this one, if it is in your house, it will be single phase because you have only three contacts. Here, this is a video tape. It has got three contacts. Okay. I mean four contacts. So you have three phase here and a neutral. Depends on what you want. Okay. So basically, that's how uh, that kind of uh, of manual change over work. Let us see on our body here. Okay, uh, let us get our, you know, our body here. Okay, so literally here, you, 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 you're going to have your breaker here. Okay, so let us say you have your breaker here where you have your phases one, two, three. Okay. Okay, like that. And then you have, let us have another one here. So you have uh, one, two, three. So you have here your, uh, your DG. Here you can have your DG, that's a diesel generator. And then you have your utility supply okay so something like that all right so you will have here your output so let us put your output here okay two three all right so we'll have a line is coming like that all right so we have one right so you have here your phase you have your have here your phase one phase two phase three all right so that's how it will be now you see when you supply uh is on so we have got uh let me say you have got here knob one this is two okay So if this guy here uh, is in neutral, okay, or zero, so if you change this guy to this position one, uh, the same way we've done here, then we'll allow this voltage here to pass and come this side. And you know, this remains open. Okay. This remains open. So even if this source here is available, there is no way it can penetrate this side. All right. So also you see, you put back this in zero. So this contact will be open completely. And then you close this. They close independently. You see, this is not like uh, this is closed. This is open. You close this. This opens. No. From number one, you go to zero. This is open completely. Then you go to number two. And from number two, you open here, you open, it's open completely, and then you take to number one. Okay? So, that's how uh, a manual changeover switch uh, works. Okay? So, if, you, if it has been a challenge, uh, there you go. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, uh, you know, 
to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.